Welcome to this video series in which I'm going to be teaching you how to create your own graphic designs for free, whether it's an e-cover, infographic, banner ad, a social media cover, a business card, whatever you need, you could create almost anything with canva.com. So just go to canva.com and you could get a free membership on there. They also have paid membership, but what I've been using for the past few years is the free version and I've been able to create beautiful designs the past few years just with their free membership option. So the great thing is you no longer have to pay for expensive graphic designers or for expensive graphic design software. In the following videos I'm going to show you the types of designs that you can create with Canva, how to create them, and you could also watch over my shoulder as I create an e-cover and an infographic using Canva. And after watching these videos, you'll see why Canva is one of the best graphic design tools out there. So come join me and I'll see you in the next video. I've been using a free version of Canva for the past couple of years now, and I'm very happy with the designs that I've created with it. However, you may have a different type of business and a paid membership may be more suitable for you. So let me just quickly go through the benefits of having a paid account with Canva if that's what you choose to do or just so you know what your options are. Uh, for now, if you just want to try out the free account with Canva, this is what you get here. You get two folders to organize your designs. You get one gigabyte storage. You can access over 8,000 templates, upload your own images and access millions of photos starting at $1 each. Now for the paid membership plan, Canva Pro, you're paying $12.95 per month. Actually, if you want to pay yearly, you could save 23% and it comes to about $9.95 per month. And you could also try it for free for 30 days. So if you go with this paid plan, Canva Pro, you get everything in the free Canva account that's included in there. Plus, you get unlimited folders. You'll have team functionality so you could collaborate, design, and edit with your team. This $9.95 or $12.95 is actually per team member. So if you have a virtual assistant or employee, for example, and they're going to be using Canva Pro as well, then you have to pay for their account, which is $12.95 per month or if you're paying yearly, then it's $9.95 per month for each member. So let's say you have one virtual assistant helping you out, then you're going to be paying $9.95 per month times two. Or if you're paying monthly, then that's, that's $26 per month. So let's look at some of the things that Canva Pro has that Canva Free doesn't. You'll get exclusive access to 400,000 free photos, illustrations, and templates. You could resize your designs. You could upload custom fonts for your brand, save templates for you and your team. You could organize your photos with folders, easily find your designs in search, resize designs into custom dimensions, download designs with transparent background, export designs as animated GIFs, and you get priority support. Now, if you have a team with more than 20 members, you would go with Canva Enterprise. And for that, you'd have to contact Canva and they could give you a special price. And plus, you'll get a dedicated account manager. So here I am on the home page of my free Canva account. On this home page, I could see the designs that I've created. I could also go to all your designs to see all the designs that I've created. And I could go to photos to find free and paid photos that I can use for my designs. So let's take a look at the photos page just to get an idea of the type of photos that you can access okay there's a search engine here for photos and let's just scroll down here and these with a dollar sign are not free you have to pay for them this one I find interesting actually You could also look through categories of different types of photos. So for example, we could go to the nature. A lot of these so far are free.
And if we go down the menu bar to brand kit, this is where you can set your brand's colors, logos, and fonts. And once you've set up your brand kit, the colors and the fonts that you chose will be the default settings for all the designs that you and your team members create. And this will give you a consistent look for your brand and company. Now, if you want some design video tutorials, you can go to design school. And if you want to allow others to have access to your account, you could go here, create a team, and you could let your employees, coworkers, other students, if you go to school, have access to Canva. And you guys will be able to share your designs and folders. And the folders could be set up here. And the designs that are shared with you, you can see here, and if you want to go ahead and create design, you just click on create a design. Now let's see what type of designs we can make. If we click here, create a design, you can see a drop down menu of all the type of designs that you can make. An easier way to look at it is just to go down here and click on create a design. And you can see all the different types of designs that you can make. So for example, if you want to design something that you can print, such as a business card, you could take a look here to get templates. So there's a poster, a business card, a US letter document, a postcard, invitation, flyer. For social media, you have Instagram posts, Instagram story, Facebook posts, Facebook story, Facebook cover, Twitter post, Tumblr graphic, a YouTube thumbnail and the YouTube thumbnail is very important because it, it plays a big factor in driving traffic to your videos Pinterest graphic a SoundCloud banner twitch banner and there's many more now for documents you can create presentations a for documents letters resumes Reports, daily report, memo, invoice. Uh, for personal things, you could make birthday cards, uh, recipe cards, a photo collage, a photo book, a calendar, a planner, storyboard, scrapbook, a postcard, a CD cover, comic strip. For education, you can make a yearbook, class schedule, worksheets, report card, bookmark table of contents, a mind map. For marketing, you can make logos, posters, flyers, infographics, brochures, gift certificates, product label, tickets, newsletters, ID card. Now for events, you'll have templates for uh, birthday invitations, wedding invitations, announcements, event programs, announcements, and the Facebook event cover. And for ads, you'll have templates you can use for making Facebook ads and different types of banner ads. In the last video, I showed you the type of designs that you can create. Now in this video, I want to show you how to create these designs. So let's go ahead and click on create a design. And for this example, let's say we want to create a banner ad. So we're going to go all the way down here to ads and just choose any of these ads here. Let's go with the medium rectangle ad and we'll be brought to a page where we can select the templates and also where we can create our ad. So right now it's a blank canvas that we're looking at here and here you can select the template. So there's free and there's paid. Let's just go for the first one here. Okay, so you could build an ad around this template and from here it's pretty much straightforward. You could just click on here and edit so let's just say demo okay you could change the font size let's make it smaller to 14 you could change the text color to red make it bold and you could also move it around and if you want you could select anything here that you want to change or delete so for example here let's say I want to remove this cloud, I'll just select that and just click on this from the garbage icon. You could even select this image 
and you could flip it around. So let's say you want to flip it vertically or flip it horizontally. And again, you could edit any of the other text on this template. For now, let's look at the other tools you have at your disposal. So we'll go to the left side here. Okay, so right now we're looking at the templates. If you click on photos, you could find photos that you could use for your design. So a lot of these are paid, but there's also free photos that you could use. So let's say you want to use this. And you could change the size of it. Okay. And if you go down to elements, you could see some other types of images that you could use. So for example, use the heart. Let's just remove this for now. So let's go down, select another image. Let's go for line. So if you want to add a line to your design. Okay. And you could also go to text to add more text with different fonts. So for example, you want to use this font right here. Demo. Or if you want, you could select this one. Okay, it's getting cluttered here, so let me just remove that. Okay, and below that, you could go to background. So if you want, you could change the background of this design. Let's select this one for this example. And if you go to uploads, you can see all the other files and photos that you've uploaded into your account. And if you go to folders, you can see the folders that you've created. And if you go to more, you can access different apps. So for example, Pexels and Pixabay, where you could find free photos from those sites. And the other apps allow you to access other networks such as Facebook and uh, YouTube. And here's an interesting one, Jiffy, where you can search and add GIFs to your designs. So let's click on this. And let's select this cute one here. Okay, and let's just resize this. And there you go. So from watching this video, you can see how easy it is to create your own designs using Canva. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and create an infographic. So let's go ahead and click on create a design. And let's look for the infographic templates. Okay, and I see that's in the marketing section here. So I'm just click on infographic. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a template. So for this example, let's just go ahead with this one here. And it's hard to read, so I'm just going to zoom in. So I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go to, let's see, 50%. The content on this current template is about how to write effective copy. Let's say I want to create an infographic about losing weight. So let's go edit the content here. And just letting you know, I'm not a weight loss or fitness expert. So I'm just going to, I might even just make up some information as I create this infographic, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So at the very top here, it says the art. I can't even read that, so I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more. Any City Writers Club presents. So, I'm just gonna type in weight loss tips. And let's just take a look here. There's one, two, three, four, five, five points or five facts or five tips on this infographic. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write five weight loss tips on here. So I'm just going to write down top five weight loss methods. There are five ways to lose weight okay so number one 
Um, here it says use simple everyday words. That's for the current template. Let's just say exercise. Okay, and for the description. Walking a day. Now, preferably, you should have your content already written and prepared in advance before you create the infographic. But for this video, I'm just going to be winging it. So it's not going to be as fast as if I actually prepared the content ahead of time. But let me just quickly go through this because I don't want to bore you. So, uh, step two reduce calories. And you know what, for now, I'm just gonna leave the description here. Uh, you already understand how it works. Uh, step three. Intermittent fasting. Step four. Yoga. And step five. Eat less junk food. Another reason I'm just going to skip these descriptions is to save time. Now you could change the images on here. So let's click on this and let's delete this. And we could go to elements. Or actually, let's go to photos. Let's go to food. Okay, and let's drag this down. And, and compiled by John Doe and you put your sources here okay and there you go it's pretty simple and straightforward and if you're happy with what you have here you just go up here and click on download in this video I'm gonna go ahead and create an e-cover right now we're at the home page so I'm gonna go to create a design and let's look for the e-cover templates Okay, so here it says book cover. There's also a CD cover. Let's go ahead and choose the book cover templates. So now let's look at some of the templates that are available for a book cover. You can see that there's quite a few free ones here. This one here is not free. Uh, let's just keep scrolling down. Okay, let's just go with this one here. I am Jane, she wants to play. Let's make this about weight loss. So weight loss tips and let's change this text to lose weight. Okay, maybe we could add a photo. So let's go to photos. Uh, let's go with flowers. Let's type in food. And this one here looks good. Okay, and maybe we could get another photo. And let's put this up here. Let's change the author name to John 
way to go. Maybe we can add an exclamation mark to lose weight. And there you go. So if you're happy with it, you just go to download, click on there, and choose the file type, PDF standard suggested. Usually I go with uh, JPEG or PNG, and then just click on download.